Hey everyone, welcome to Pop XP. And before the show starts, make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications when we go live and we upload awesome new content. And don't forget, if you can, make sure to share our stream on all your social media outlets. We appreciate it, and thanks for helping us grow the Pop XP channel. What's up, heroes and heroines? How are we all doing today? Your old pal Bill Tucci here, and I'm doing a. I know the the angle is way off, um, but I'm doing the uh, the hard cover cover to She Sakura, which launches in, in a week. And I kind of lost, uh, as you could tell, I lost uh, a week. This is what's holding up the campaign because uh, almost all the art is done. Garneo Lima and I have 47 pages done of the 56 pages of story. And uh, the goal with this book is that we launch on Indiegogo. Uh, and uh, when do we launch? Uh, well, heck, let's we launch on uh, when, next Wednesday on Indiegogo. And then the following Wednesday, we launch on Kickstarter. Both are exclusive additions to their specific campaigns. And so I'm just kind of drawing a little idealized horse. And uh, there's she up there on right? and uh hope you guys are doing good so uh yeah this will be different than normal right <laughs> how you doing stippling vaughn i love stipple i actually have a stipple brush somewhere i was looking for it last night when we were talking about it on the bros but uh my studio is such a mess and when i'm done drawing sakura and finishing up the commissions which i'll be doing in the next few weeks i'll be able to uh I'll uh, I'll post that stipple brush. But as you can see, my fingers healed up. It's been a been twelve days or thirteen days since I did it. So um, yeah, long hand. That's how much it feels. Went to the gym yesterday, but as you can see, that's all that's left. It I think it's going to leave a pretty nasty scar. So we can turn this light on here too. Got a better light. <clears throat> if that helps. I don't know if that helps or not. But as you can see, I uh, got a little. Hey, let's give it a second. So I cut it pretty bad there. That you can see how it flopped over, and then on this side too. So, but uh, it was pretty nasty. But uh, you know, there you go. I don't know if that light's helping. Let me turn it off. Let me see. Yeah, it's not really helping. Let's just do my art lamp. So, uh, guys, so I'll be here drawing away um, on the Pop XP Live. I invited a few friends. I don't know if they can make it. Dr. Blevins, our producer, said he's not sure if he could. I invited Steve Peros via the Facebook. Um, so, let's see. Uh, okay, not sure if I'll be done, but I will try. All right, Dr. Blevins. Dr. Blevins is in a big meeting today. So, um, that's that. So, uh, hey, I'm hoping everyone's doing well. I'm uh, glad to see you all. And, you know, let's uh, do a little uh, now in, in Sakura. The reason why she's on a horse is because there's this big battle to, ends up taking place at the end of the book at the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens. I don't want to give away too much, but uh, so I'm just going to be drawn. I got to get this done today, tonight. And uh, we're really having a great time. Let's hit some jazz. Let's uh, add a little music here. Let's do it. There you go. Let me know if you guys can hear that. I'll do some erasing. Trying to what I'm how I'm drawing this is this is this is not ink, but it's drawn with uh, my black uh, Barrel Prismacolor pencils, which I have hundreds of them. Come on. So I gotta start low and let that camera get caught up to it. Anyway, I use these. It's really great that they, they, this just melts on the page. Um, and I think I need a more powerful light up there. But uh, anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. You guys have any questions you want to ask me? We'll talk, we'll chat. And uh, welcome to the Pop XPR, me and Niall Scala's uh, YouTube channel. I guess you could say Niall Scala and, and my, because it's really mostly Niall Scala's. But uh, let's sharpen a pencil, see if I have one left over. Working on these yesterday. I was streaming live. Whoops. With EBS yesterday. I was doing some work, but it kind of beat these pencils up. So uh 
they're kind of just good for fill-ins now, filling in blacks and things like that. But, uh, you know, there should be, uh, there she is. And you get the whole, the whole image. I have to have the angle over here, the camera over here, so I can draw. Because if not, I'll be poking myself in the eye with it. But, so I laid it out. And, you know, again, stylized. But uh, let's have some fun with it. Do some samurai yama. And if I could share my screen, I'm going to give you the inspiration because this is going to take part of the book as well. So let's find that. Let's see if it's here. Yes, it is here. Okay. So I'm going to share the screen for a second and show you a scene that's that's going to that 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 inspired um, this page right here. So let's do that. Let me share the screen. Is this one? Yep, this one right here. So let's share this. You guys will see what I'm talking about. So cool, right? So uh -uh. let me throw this over here. There you go. So you guys can see. So this is a uh, this is a scene from a Japanese parade um, in in Kyoto, and it's gonna be there's a big parade at the end of Shisakura. Let me see if I can lower that YouTube a little bit. It's a little loud. There we go. And uh, so Tomoe is actually, uh, Tomoe, uh, Anna's daughter Hotaru is going to be dressed like this. So let's, um, I think I'll go there and see how, how it's coming out. That's too small. Let's make it bigger. There we go. So uh, it's really gorgeous, you know. So uh, this is kind of the inspiration for what I'm drawing here is, uh, is this on the horse. And you'll see the gorgeous armor and all and the colors and all in white. And uh, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, to, to put this together, of course, mine's a little different. Let me stop sharing the screen. There you go. So my image is a little bit different, but uh, you'll get the idea. And uh, give it a nice, uh, nice watercolor effect to the final cover. So let me take this off. I need that image so I can draw. Oh, I didn't draw. Um, give her some. Let me see if I can do that. If I can give her some armor over here. Yeah. I could do that. I could I could pull that in. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna have the fabric. I'm not gonna put armor there. I'm gonna keep it keep it in a fabric. Okay. Oopsie. Oh, dropped yet another eraser. All I seem to do all day long is drop erasers. Allergies are killing me. I didn't take my allergy pill yet today. Um, so if my voice sounds scratchy, it's for my allergies and also from the convention. Since I'm not quite used to Comic Cons, and we had a great time last weekend at the South Carolina Con. Me old Cap, Andy Smith, uh, Robin Michelle Young put on a fantastic show. Uh, my buddy Mark Fanaris joined us, um, his, his beautiful wife Aileen, uh, our friend Cheryl Honey Badger. Um, and it was just a great, great show. Uh, Got to make some new friends um, and uh, smoke some cigars. And it was just it was just a great, great all-around experience. Well done. If anyone, I, I recommend everyone to do that show, all pros, because it really is it's just a, it's just top notch. So uh, let's just, just start drawing some hair. If I can move this over a little bit more. Thing, like I said, is that this thing's in, in the way, so it's hard for me actually to see. Is this too close? Can you guys see? Can you guys see? Then <laughs> will you be serving snacks? <laughs> yes, of course. Can you guys actually see this? Um, is it too bled? Is it too um, the white too white out? You know, is it too um, too bright? Should I drop this back a little bit? Looking at an old Japanese woodblock print for inspiration. I don't know if that works. Let's see how that is. Again, the angle's off, so it might look a little distorted, but it, I think it looks really nice. Love this. Man, it's hard to draw with this stupid thing in your face.
I'm boring you, I apologize, everyone. But thank you for joining me. It's it's just gonna be we're just gonna be chilling. Good to see you, Dark Lord Fud. Thank you very much for that, old chum. Appreciate it. It's coming out really great. Uh, the book, I'm so proud of it. Um, I dare I dare I say, I think it just may be the best single issue of She ever. 56 pages. We might add more pages. Um, might add another. I was talking to Steve Peros, the writer, and uh, I want this action scene to be even bigger. So we might add a, I might be adding four more pages. Maybe we'll make it a stretch goal. And make it a 60 page, 64 page book with 60 pages of story. I can turn another light on. Hang on. Man. Kind of like this whole cover is kind of an I, I, idealized, stylized type of a thing. But that's the best thing about being an independent publisher, um, independent creator, is that you can do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> thing with these um, these barrel prisma colors, like I said, that they melt on the on the on the artboard, but uh, they're also very um, uh, they're very soft. So they'll, uh, uh, they break very easily. And this adds a very this um, these pencils add a really nice touch to it um, that you can actually it's almost like inks and then when it's colored it gives a beautiful soft as I was saying earlier almost watercolor effect to the to the color to the color work and um, just love working in it really do. And Japanese arm is so intricate uh, with all these little plates and scales and and uh ties you know so much ties and things like that but
So introduce, I'm going to introduce you guys to uh, Baby Boy Bar uh, Daruma doll. This is going to be our symbolic Daruma doll. If you guys remember from the earlier campaign, we always have a Daruma doll. They sort of, it's two giant ones I had that the great Renzini gave me. Um, and they have since, uh, you know, I ordered a bunch of these. So for she, uh, the Omnibus edition had uh, Baby Bodhi Daruma 1. This is Baby Bodhi Daruma 2. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is at launch time, I'm going to color this eye in black and leave this one blank. Because then you have a goal set in mind. And when we achieve that goal, we fill in that other one. And then in my family room, he'll go next to his brothers. So he's pretty cool. He's still in the bag. We'll take him out. There we go. Okay, let's get to this stuff here. Oopsie. Chunky Donkey, what's up, Chunky Donkey? <laughs> what's up, pal? How are you? Why isn't... The finger's all better, brother. Uh, why my name isn't coming up on this, I don't know. Well, Mike Kellison, it's... It's good to have you on. Chunky Donkey's coming on, is, is showing. So you must be uh, signed in on YouTube as Chunky Donkey, that's why. Oh, yeah. Check, please. Okay, let's start doing this armor here. I need a, a harder pencil. This is too soft. This is probably an HB. And I need a 2H or a 4H. I actually to lay it out. What size is this? An F. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. No, that's good enough. That's high enough. Or if it was too high. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, so the obvious, I think the campaign is going to start um, at uh, 7 p.m. on Wednesday. We've got some cool limited edition books um, and prints and stuff like that. So, and once they sell out, they're out. And thanks to you guys, the campaigns have been doing fantastic re uh, recently. So we really appreciate that. All of your incredible support. Uh, Mike Ellison, the puppy is great. You'll you'll meet her soon. She's psycho, but she's awesome. She's beautiful and she's just very confident. And took her for a nice mile and a half walk today, and she she did great. Tired after she took a nice long nap. It's a Japanese play, Japanese music playlist. I mean, if we get, we won't get struck. We just uh, won't be monetized. But let's see if I could find that. Hang on. Japanese music. Let's see what we get over here. Whew, how long is this? Three hours of traditional Japanese music. Heck yes. All right, let's do that. Go about a half hour or so and join me and have some fun, guys. If you guys got any questions, please ask. Feel free to ask. be fun to listen to is um the soundtrack to uh rain man is good <laughs> it's a really good soundtrack hope not be there i don't know if you guys can see like i said i know it's it's dark i mean it's light but so that'd be nice the horse hey candace good to see you thank you candace for helping to change our lives. Oh no, that's not. Uh, 
None of that goes in. It's all wrong. I do all day <laughs> when I'm finishing up my commissions this month I'll have you guys uh, come on board uh, too and we'll do these little chill streams which I thoroughly enjoy the chill streams because I am chilly Billy Tucci <laughs> oh. yeah that's a good idea Lord Dark Fred Break out the sake and sake to me, baby. Oh, that broke. So I had a, have a couple more. A little she hero click here. Fell off the. Uh, I was getting something up on my shelf up there. I have a shelf of all she uh, licensing stuff, and she fell off. There's a little she hero click. One of them. We did. They did five in the. This is she in her battle armor. Will you come on? Sometimes it works. I'll bring it up very slow. Anyway, as you can see, one of her swords broke. She had two swords. Okay, Sarasara. Uh, You're listening to this. I, I, I have like um, CDs of this music. <laughs> For those of you who know what CDs are. Um, from, man, you know, going back 1995 or something. And it's a nice warm day. And it just reminded me that summer of 95 when I was so focused and working. And uh, just listening to this music. We had a little studio going. It was me, Nelson Asensio. Uh, Barry Orkin would pop in from time to time. I broke Barry Orkin. But he, you know, he had a real job. And uh, Buzz would come in and hang out. And uh, I had two or three art tables in there. And we'd just sit here and we would just listen to this. And he was my background artist. So I would lay out the backgrounds and then he would finish them. And a uh, great, great little studio we had. Working, you know, working away and getting books out. And man, what a, what a time. What a wonderful time to be making comics in the 90s.
Um, RJ, um, the, I, I'd have to talk to Chris Caliendo and see uh, if he'd like to, if you guys missed it. Um, the soundtrack was great. Um, it would be a stretch goal because it's Chris Caliendo. So, he, you know, he gets paid for it. So, uh, but I'll talk to him and see for those who might have missed it if they want to grab the little she soundtrack. So I lay this out, like basically that's what these are, sort of layouts. And then I'll go in really, as you can see how clean it is, I'll go in really, you know, really clean and, and uh, meticulous and finish it up. So I'll finish this tomorrow. Um, just because I uh, get it off to colors. Nope, that doesn't go there. That's part of the right. Okay, get my little pure because my hands get dirty. Get that pure out. Oh, there's my pencil. What's in the grab bag? I don't know what that means. We have a mystery bag. We will have a mystery bag perk, but that's why it's a mystery bag. We can't tell you what's in it. Come on now. Come on. I'm wondering. What is the light on it? See, I haven't. I think this is mine. Yeah, that might work. These cool arrows up here. Nope, this is not my pencil. That's a... This is gonna be a nice cover. Can have him fold the horse, make it a little, a little stylized. You know, horses are such beautiful animals, but why not? Right. These should be more slanted. Music is great, isn't it?
These are gonna be white, so I'm gonna have to paint these in afterwards. We fans of butts about it. These are their characters, you know, that you're working on. Uh, when you, you know, when you self publish your own books, man, you own it all. And there's no greater freedom than that than to be able to create, um, have your own create your own work, if you will, and have people, you know, support it. And that's why, you know, thank you guys, all of you out there. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm just how in debt we are of, of your amazing patronage and, um, support and faith. It's, it's, it's just wonderful. <laughs> this is the hard cover uh cover so this is the the hard cover right now we have three covers by me on indiegogo so you'll have this one oh no this is the this is the i think this is a kickstarter cover this is the kickstarter exclusive cover then you have um this one this is cool that's like your main cover um and then i have to do the uh uh unless that just is the rough cut cover i might make this the rough cut cover and then just do another cover because it's done it's colored it looks gorgeous brian miller uh colored it and it looks just gorgeous it's cool like this is also a scene from the from the comic
horse's mane down here. Gotta keep this bad boy sharp. Guys, if you haven't already, please look into the um, in the description. You'll see a link to the campaign. And also, would you guys mind uh, smashing that like button and uh, give uh, give old Niall and I uh, a follow, please, on crowdfunding comics. I'll be starting up my um, uh, next week. I guess it would be next week. If not next week, the week after that, definitely for sure, will be the unboxing day with Billy Tucci, as I've got so many uh, crowdfunding campaigns that I have to to uh, unbox. Probably got 50 of them. My son will go wash my truck. I don't know if he did yet. So you got to keep this really, really super wicked shot. I can go on Facebook with this too. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Let me know if I'm on Facebook, guys. I won't really be able to. Um, I don't think I'll be able to read the comments, but. Facebook and see if it's live. Yep, yeah, it's working. All right. Well, everybody out there on the Facebook, hello. Welcome to my smooth jazz chill stream. We're playing a little. Japanese uh, inspired jazz as I do a cover for She Sakura. It's this is the hard cover, 
part. And I'm very late on it. Very late. I lost good, almost two weeks because of my darn finger, but which, as I was telling everybody else, is healed up nicely. Can't even see it anymore, really. Let's see how I did it. There you go. But you can see the cut. I don't know if you can, but it it starts here and it goes around. <laughs> And then I got here that came like that. So I've got uh, six stitches I had. But it's all healed up. Feels weird because I'm sure I cut some nerves and all. But, you know, I lived, right? So. The nervous part is the face always with these because these break. So you want a really fine line. But again, when it's real the lines are really fine, they have a chance they 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 often break. It sucks. The pencil breaks because it's so soft. The pencil. Hey Mike Kellis, do me a favor, go on to Facebook real quick and just see if you could send a comment if I can read it. Or any, anybody else out there, just post a comment on Facebook. And let me see if it pops up here on StreamYard. Hey, Mike Freetag, how are you? Mike, oh, I can post a comment. Let me post a comment. Hello, all. Let's see if that post pops up. Or Ninfa did. Okay. Hi, Ninfa. Let's see if I can read these on StreamYard. Let's see. Yeah, okay, I was able to do it. Mine popped up, but I did not see Ninfa's. So, uh, hello, Ninfa, good to see you. Tell my boy over there that I said hello. And congratulations on the your nupti nuptials. You're a great couple, and I was honored to play a small part in your engagement. It was, a, it was a, one of the biggest honors of my career, actually. So, thank you for that. Now, ask, can you guys hear me with this music playing, or is the music too loud? Let me know, okay? Hope everybody has some nice Easter and Passover plans. We'll be hosting it over here. And Deb and I are going to marinate some venison tonight. I think we're going to have venison and lamb and chicken. Hello, Glenn on Facebook. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mike. How are you? Varel, what's happening? Deborah is watching, but honey, I sure could use a fizz. Nicholas Gear, my brother. How you doing, Nicholas? Good to see you, my friend. But the music is good? Excellent.
Here's my little brush. I know I have my brush here somewhere. My air table is such a mess. My whole studio is, is such a horrific mess. Let's do that. You too, my friend. Good. You too, Mike. It's good to see you. Sorry we'll miss you. Um, no Arizona for us. But we shall return again to Arizona. Maybe next year, maybe the year after. I want to thank everybody who ordered She Return of the Warrior and She Haikyo. And I uh, regret to inform you that the She Return of the Warrior hardcovers are all sold out. Um, I have like three of them for myself. That's it. Uh, and the She Haikyo, I think we're down to our last box, which I ha I think has 40 of them in it. So uh, I think we'll just be keeping those for ourselves. We sent a bunch of comps to Connie Valentina. Who is a cover artist and will return as a cover artist um, uh, for the next sheet project? Uh, guys, the um, what you call the the camera is not exactly aligned with my art table, uh, so it's the art may look a little bit distorted, but uh, trust me, it's not. There we go. That's not. So pop that in. There you go. So um, love you too, uh, Ninfa. Tell Jason I said hello too, please. I need to love that little guy there. Excellent. Oh, isn't this great? Listen to this. This puts me in such a good mood. <laughs> Listen to this. It's hard to draw and, and then look at the comments and stuff, so I apologize, everyone. Uh, when we're coming back to Florida, to be honest with you. No plans right now, um, but I will let you know for sure. I've got a lot of books i got to get out, so we're uh, cutting down my convention appearances considerably uh, just because I just, I have to publish. I, I got I got books to draw um, and to put together, but I will let you know for sure, brother, what I do. 
And I love Florida. I got so much family down there. I know it probably looks like a mess to you guys. You have no idea what, what this looks like, but uh, trust me, it's going it's to work. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's my woodblock print that I'm using as a... That light's better. I can move this over a little more. Let's see. I think I can draw like that. Look at this over here. There we go. That works. <laughs> yeah, I'm dirty. I know, old dirty. I'm all good now. I think I'm all good. So my fingers healing up pretty nicely. So, yeah, that's what I do is I cut myself. I always end up doing something to myself. Always on my left hand, which I'm left-handed. So, Apex Comics. You draw left hand, and I draw right-handed. How about a draw jam? You draw the left page and I draw the right. I'd have to draw the right page, you draw the left so we don't we don't bumping into each other. <laughs> so my left hand is on this side and your hand is over here. Okay, finish this horse. I got a lot more detail to do with the horse. The shoulder, the shin, now the finger. It was the bicep, the shin. <laughs> yeah, but I I did get rotator. I messed up my rotator cuff back in the day, too. Again, once again, it was all Deborah. Deborah's fault. So it was her fault. What's up, bro? My brother Vinny. What's up, Vin? Good to see you, Vin, man. Talk to you guys on Easter. You know, I'm just living a dream here, man. Just drawing away. <laughs> I think he said pictures of the... Well, Vinny sent pictures of the... Hey, Lil sent pictures of the Pantera. I think I saw something pop up on my phone, but I haven't seen it yet. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Get my phone. Ooh. I think I'm gonna light some incense. We got one left. Dude. Let's really get into the whole the whole thing. Let's burn it. 
Hey, Vinny, remember these punk? Remember we called them punks? I guess that's, remember what a punk was? It's like incense. Let me get my lighter. Light that bad boy up. What you doing, kitty? You gonna see my cat? Oh, yeah, Vinny's Pantara looks amazing. Holy crap. Wow. Great job. My brother-in-law built and restored this Pantara, and he just painted it. Painted it by himself. Look at that. Yeah, horses are fun to draw. Um, the thing with a horse is that I like to try to sometimes add a little human element to it. I know it's a little bit off of what a horse normally looks like, but they're fun. You know, I think they're a lot of fun to draw. I keep missing my, hitting my light. So it's a lot of work drawing a horse, that's for sure. Dang, bro. It's hard to hear that. I got it. I got what you're saying. Yes, he did. <laughs> yep. So with the cat, yep, I got my kitty over here. Probably wants to eat a big... Oh, yeah, Japanese, uh, Kitaro. K Kitaro's Kojiki um, is actually what I based the entire story on, she. But I had it on a cassette tape, and I listened to the second half first. And it's basically, I with uh, the entire first way of the Warrior storyline, all came from that. It truly inspired me. So, there you go. Hmm. Yeah, that clicks here. That... Sorry, when I'm drawing, I'm drawing this over here now.
Let's get this sucker shower. You guys see that? Okay, you can. Okay. It's harder to draw, and then I got to keep looking at the camera to see if what I'm drawing you guys are looking at, so you don't just see like a blank page or something. Thank you for your uh, service. What was your uh, MOS being at Fort Sill? I don't know, you know, Oklahoma. Let me know what your uh, thing is. Uh, that's cool, man. Yeah, they were good times. <laughs> I want to yell boo so bad. <laughs> yeah, this has got to reach through my saddle. This is let's hold my saddle together. Can't believe I left that out. For goodness sakes.
to spray this soon. Hmm. Zambucci. Peter Zambucci. I know, bro. Zambucci. Nope. Zambucci. Oh, good turn next. Sorry. Sorry, uh, I clicked on Peter Zambucci's thing. Let me go back to my page so I can see your Facebook comments. I got to keep it on uh, moot. I'm not seeing a lot of your comments, and I apologize, guys, for that. Hey, we got a super chat. Hang on a second. Let me pause that for the super chat. All right. Evil One, thank you. $2 super chat. The new champagne. Let's go on this. The new champagne is going to be on. Yes, the new, the new campaign will launch on Kickstarter on the 27th of April. Um, they're both exclusive to one, uh, they're exclusive to Indiegogo and exclusive to Kickstarter. The Indiegogo campaign has something special for Indiegogo. The Kickstarter campaign has something specially, uh, exclusive for Kickstarter. So that's what differentiates the, um, the two campaigns from one another. But yes, we're going to launch on Indiegogo first. Uh, and the, primarily because I got all the covers done just about for Indiegogo and, uh, the Kickstarter one will launch a week later. Uh, the goal is that this book will go to the printer once the Kickstarter, after 30 days of the Kickstarter ends, so we can fulfill it over the summer and then launch uh, the next book, which is Zombie Sama 2, Dorm of the Dead. Heck yes, by John Brolia. Um, though, depending, we might launch another omnibus before that and move uh, Zombie Sama 2 to the fall just because of printing prices. Uh, that the printing prices go up at the end of the year. And I want to get the, well, we have to get 
the uh, the on the bus out. We're going to do a new on the bus every year, and it probably will be our summer book. But we're going to get that campaign. We're, we're going to launch a new on the bus campaign every summer uh, because the printing prices are just exorbitant. They, it's crazy how how much paper costs now, uh, along with everything else, right? Um, and also shipping. So the shipping too is that we want to get that book shipped before the end of the year. And uh, the reason why uh, to do that is because we've spent on the first on the bus, just for the United States Postal Service alone, we're over $70,000 to ship that book uh, because we shipped everything priority. We're going to look into it, see if we ship it media mail. I don't know. Debbie likes the priority as, you know, obviously you guys do too, but it's just so darn expensive. It's crazy how expensive it is. And uh, so that's that. So, uh, but need to say, you will see Zombie Sama 2, Dorm of the Dead, and the next sheet on the bus, are, uh, which will probably be the Return of the Warrior on the bus, uh, since it's all done and ready to go. And uh, thank you guys for your patience and your continued and amazing support. So, tally-ho. All right. Dojo of the Dead. <laughs> Dojo of the Dead order. Yeah, it's Dorm of the Dead. Because Jim from Zombie Summit ends up going to college. And the zombie apocalypse is all over, or so we all think. And, of course, something happens, and it returns. And now Jim has to take care, you know, and, and save the world once again. So, uh, fun stuff, as usual. Coming from your friends at Crusade Comics. Guess I'll be we'll draw here for another 20 minutes together, guys. Hmm, would a freight service be cheaper? Instead of dropping international the mail in the mail, you put it all you put all of Canada on a pallet. Someone drives to Canada, they put it in a local mail system. Same with Europe. That's an interesting idea, 40% Zed. Um, that's a really interesting uh thing. I'd have to find somebody in Canada um who would like to work with us, you know, maybe um a retailer or someone who has the facilities to do such a thing. But I'll have to talk to Daddy about that because it's just crazy expensive. Put it, throw it in a van and bring all the Canadian orders, all the international Canadian orders over or drive my truck up there or something. Catch a game. Graham Nolan is up in Buffalo, so maybe uh, go hang out with the Nolans. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Man, the day just flies by. Can't believe we're coming on five o'clock here in the Northeast.
Oh, let's play some music. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'll finish this tomorrow morning. It's my brother-in-law's and my niece's birthday. So we're going to have a little birthday party for them tonight at their house. And uh, then, and uh, we'll, we'll get together at the American Legion before that. And then we got to get ready for Easter since we're having a house full of people here. Yes, it's Emily's birthday. Yes, Mike. My incense burning here. It smells delightful. Let's put that over here. Or something. Okay, put it. Bring in a good mojo. Helps cover the weed smell. Now, here's the thing, Pat Pass Masterson. I have never in my life tried marijuana. Debbie either. You know, I'm not against other people trying. I don't really don't care. But it, just for me, I've never smoked it. Never tried it. That was my thing. I said, I, that's the one thing I'm going to do. That's going to be me is that I've never, ever tried pot. Which is good because I probably turn into a reefer addict. Like you. Is this? <laughs> it's Def Wilson. Yes, unfortunately, it is the Billy Tucci. I see all these people are, are commenting, and if I go on the video, I, I don't know if I can. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to mute it if I can. For some reason, I can't see anyone's posts. Let's do this here. Let's go to that. Let's see if I can hit mute on it. Yep. Got it. I can do it. Now I can see you guys. Okay. Much better. Oh, John Brolia says it's gorgeous. You know, you're not you're not so bad yourself there, John Brolia. Good to see you, pal. Happy Easter. We're going to have some fun this year with Zombie Sam, I'll tell you that. And you guys are going to be blown away about how great of a job John Brolia did writing and illustrating Zombie Sam. I think Mindy Lopkins already lettered most of that book. <laughs> and John's done with Zombies Tama 2 and Zombies Sama 3. Fraga uses uh, this kind of glove thing when he draws for his hand. And I guess it's so you don't smudge. Nope, never did cocaine either. Never did any of that stuff. Come on now. Do I look like a coke head? Nope, just didn't. My thing was I never wanted to do any drugs. I like to drink beer back then. Drank a lot of beer. <laughs> I think in the summer of 86, my girlfriend Michelle and I 
were able to. Now, wait a minute. How did we get all that beer? We weren't even 21. Anyway, so we ended up deposit. We we returned. We saved our beer for all the beers we drank that summer. And I think I got 60. Then and you gotta mind you that a, a can of beer. We would drink those baby bud bottles, the eight packs. And I think they were eight. The, oh, I had a fake ID. Yeah, uh, they were um, they were uh, five cents a, a deposit, which is still the same. And we got sixty seven dollars <laughs> in empties <laughs> for returning all the beers we drank that whole spring and summer. Ah, <laughs> oh, crazy, crazy. JP, what's up, JP? Good to see you, buddy. I hope you are well. I don't know what you're doing in Free Comic Book Day, but I will be at uh, Allen's store at the Comic Book Depot in Wanta, New York. Uh, Saturday, May 7th from 11 to 2, I think. 2? Well, now Scal is going to come down. I think Frank Amazing, too, is going to come down and join us. And maybe we'll all get some lunch afterwards. Yeah, please come and see us, Jake. Come on and hang out. Hang out with the boys. Come by for lunchtime. Jeffy's armor. <laughs> It's so much work doing Japanese armor.
Man, this is good stuff, man, this music. Man. Beautiful guys, man. Oh, another super chat. Oh, sorry, gotta go. Uh, but you and your family have a happy Easter. You too, evil one. Thank you so much. Sworn, um, interesting thing. I know you gotta go, but I'm sending an email to Brian Polito, uh, and Francisca and Robin and Terry Moore, and Jeff, uh, Smith and Vijaya, and Vijaya, his wife. Um, and I already talked to Jimmy and Amanda about it, talked to Robin about a really cool panel that uh, I have an idea for, for San Diego. So uh, hopefully they'll all be in, in, in on it, uh, in to do it. And if they are, hopefully San Diego will, um, will accept it because it's going to be a, a hoot. So thank you so much and uh, see you later. All right. Peace. Oh, thank you. This is a lot of work. <laughs> thank you, Seer. Yeah, it's a lot of work. When I hit it again? Oh, no, I'm looking at two things. Okay. Oof. Well, thank you, Robotech Jenner. Thank you. It's getting there. Matcha is your favorite drug? I know what matcha is. Sorry, the phone's ringing. Okay, then I got to do the tail. The tail's going to be down here. Yeah.
Oh, hello, dear Grace. How are you? Miss you, honey. Hope you guys are well. Happy Easter. Again, the angle's off, so she's more like that. I'm trying to get it more even. I'm, 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 a, I'm at a much more steeper angle. The angle more is, if I can look at it, probably more like that. It wants a bit out of focus because the lighting and all. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, thank you all. This has been a great stream. I got a little fizz in me, a little fizz stick, a little energy fizz. And uh, I'll finish this tomorrow. Um, if you guys want to join me, maybe I'll uh, I'll go do a live stream again. This is a lot of fun. Uh, Ford, how are you, Ford? Good to see you, my friend. The music actually is three hours of the best traditional Japanese music. 
uh, relaxing music for stress relief and healing. It's on YouTube. So uh, let me see if I can grab it, if I can copy that. Copy. And I can paste it here. Paste. Return. There you go. So you got it. And uh, that's on Facebook. Uh, let me see on StreamYard. I could do that too if I can add something. Paste. There you go. If you guys want to listen, it's great stuff. Oh, there. It did pop up. So uh, everyone have a great, great, uh, great Easter if I don't see you. Uh, thank you all for, for joining me today. Basically, I, I draw. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be doing it anyway. Again, it's a little bit off. It makes it distorted. It looks weird. It's like more like that. But, uh, you know, when you see it, you'll, you'll, uh, it, it'll work out. Anyway, thank you all. Have a great, great uh, Easter. Uh, have a good Friday and uh, happy Passover for all of our friends out there, the Jewish uh, uh, Jewish faith. And um, we'll see you uh, probably tomorrow when I'm finishing this. So uh, thanks a million. Love you all. Remember, uh, peace, love, she's strong. Tally ho. <laughs>